Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Where we're here with Macanudo and the vintage Maduro 2013. This is the Robusto 5x50. There's your density. Has a pretty good feeling in the hand for Robusto. It has a little weight to it. Now, the world's first vintage cigar was created by Macanudo more than 40 years ago. This cigar is a five country blend. The 2013 growing season saw some of the highest temperatures on record in the Connecticut River Valley with soaring humidity and optimal rainfall that yielded an exceptionally brawny broadleaf tobacco cured in age for an entire decade. The wrapper is Connecticut River Valley Maduro, binder is Honduran OSA, and the filler is Dominican Palato Cubano from two different primings, along with Brazilian Matafina and Nicaraguan Jalapa. Comes in three sizes. In addition to this Robusto, you have a Toro Grande 6x54 and a Churchill 7x49. This is the Robusto 5x50 retail price, $11.99. Up to thirteen twenty nine for the church. So, that is the long of it. Let's get right to it. The new Macanudo Vintage Maduro 2013 Robusto. Alright, this cigar has a large, at least half of the cigar taken up by a uh, cedar sleeve. So we're going to remove that and it should and it will slide right off. Like so. Well, had a little bit of trouble there, but there's your cedar sleeve. We'll probably see those bands again later. So that's what you're left with. Very dark cigar. Very ornate band work. Very good draw. I mean, extremely good. This is one of those bands that's way too close up here. I'm hoping it loosens up. It's not right now. And I can move it down. All right. Good draw. Let's do it. It starts off really nice. A very sweet, tangy peach with some brown sugar, chocolate, and black coffee. There's a lot of sweetness initially, and you get those lower level dark notes in abundance, but there's a lot of nice sweetness. Black pepper at about seven and a half. So that's how you start. Very good start. end of the first third and from the light up to now your sweetness dips and the black coffee goes way up you still have the peach and the brown sugar now there's a little bit of a light nougat chocolate which is sweet dark chocolate and black coffee which is up medium to full body the finish is a little bit of that peach. And a little chocolate. Very good lingering black pepper. I told you about how good it was at the outset because I knew this was going to happen. I wish it had stayed like it was at the outset. It would easily be a 94. Easily. As it is, it's a 92. 
because the sweetness has just come right downhill. Now, is that going to stay that way or keep going? I hope not, but we'll have to find out. But that is what you have at the first third. In the second third, and you don't have much left. The scar is definitely going in that same direction. It is now very earthy. There are hints, light, light hints of the peach. A whole lot of dark chocolate and even more black coffee. Black pepper is still very good. It's probably eight. Medium to full body. Finishes dark chocolate and black coffee. With very good lingering black pepper. All right, so the cigar is on a trajectory downhill as far as I'm concerned. If you like an extreme amount of dark notes, this is for you. Very little sweetness in this cigar at this point. Started out so good. And here we are in the second third, and it's way downhill. 87 for the second third. That's a drop. The sweetness has dropped. Everything's dropped off just about except your dark chocolate and black coffee. So I can't explain it, but that's how it's going. And uh, I still revert back to how it started at light up. It was fantastic. That was just a mean trick because it changes quickly from that point. So let's see if it can somehow salvage itself in the final third. Down to the end, so let's wrap it up. What a sweetness. The peach made a little bit of a resurgence, just a little. There's still plenty of dark chocolate and plenty of black coffee. Medium to full. The finish is unchanged. It's still dark chocolate, black coffee. No peach filtered over with very good lingering black pepper. A modest improvement. 88 for the final third. I had to check my notes. 88. This cigar started out so good, folks. I wish you'd try one and you'd see what I mean. But it doesn't last long. I, uh, I, I say again, if you like a really dark noted cigar with very little sweetness, don't worry about the first light up because it's going to quickly go away. But if you like a dark noted cigar, this might be for you to try. Your overall score is 89. And the first third kept it that high. I like news report. I can't change it. So that'll do it. The Macanudo Vintage Maduro 2013 Maduro uh, Robusto. 89.